Oh. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Pause. Just hose away. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. I'm recording. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to explain what you're doing? Of course I'm going to explain what I'm doing. Okay, All so right. we're going to put fairy hair into Jen's hair. <laughs> so I ordered a while back, I ordered um, probably 5,000. Million. Million. Fairy hair strands. I think I ordered 30, 20, 36 okay. inch. I was trying to measure. 36 <laughs> inch fairy hair. All different colors. We posted a picture of all the colors that I have. So this will be a tutorial on how to place the fairy hair and tie it into your friend's hair. Okay. I am going to begin. Oops. <laughs> Okay, so I, <laughs> I put the fairy hair, I double it up, so it's basically in half, and I have the center here. I'm going to... I wonder if I can zoom. I don't zoom in too much. I don't know. How, no, it good. doesn't zoom. Okay, so I'm going to put my two fingers in between the loop. Then I'll take these two um, pieces. <laughs> I've been two halves. Two halves. The two halves. I just loop it around. Loop through. And then, so now my finger, I'm pinching the area that I looped, and my fingers are now creating like a slip knot. Okay. So I can still pinch here. Now, okay. we're going to use Jen's hair. <laughs> Here's <laughs> one of the parts that I she sometimes know parts on. It's all over the place. So I'm going to go just under her part under over just beneath I'm part. taking some hair and placing it over <laughs> her part so you won't be able to see the actual knot when it's at the scalp so I am going to take two or three hairs which sometimes can be a lengthy process to get two or three hairs okay so I have two or three here I now I'm going to pinch. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure the camera is on my head. I can't see it. Oh, you're fine. Okay, so now her hair is between the slip knot. And then I'm just gonna put my finger on the knot that's at her scalp. Okay, so I'm holding the three hairs here. Taking the fairy hair. And I'm going to knot. one time. Oops, hold on. Let me get both strands. Okay. So I'm going to knot the hair and the fairy hair together. Oh my gosh. And then I just dropped her hair, which I don't normally do. Okay. Tie again. Fairy hair and hair. So that's two knots with the slip knot. And then I'm going to tie the two pieces of fairy hair to itself twice. So this is one. And this is two. And that's it. So it's nice and tight right down at her scalp. Go like this, yeah. So it's right here. And then when her hair is parted naturally, you won't be able to see the knot, but you'll be able to see the shimmer of the fairy hair just underneath. So it's really amazing when it's out in the sun because it catches just under and it's perfect. Now, because Jen's hair is short, we have all of this left over. So we trim that, usually when we're all the way done with all the pieces that we're gonna put in. So we'll just trim the excess and throw that out when we're done. Oops, okay, that's not the cat that'll eat it. Okay, so I'll do another piece. <laughs> so that one was pink, I'm gonna do a silver. So again, I'm gonna just fold it and do the slip knot so that my fingers are in between. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Try that again. Okay, so my fingers are in between. Okay. I'm out of my head. 
Yes. Fabulous. <laughs> so, a couple hairs. I have three. So again, I'm going to tie. I just put the slip knot on. I'm going to tie her hair and the fairy hair together. There is once. And twice. And the fairy hair to itself. Once. And maybe. <laughs> I've been drinking. Hold on. <laughs> twice. Okay. And we have try different types of knots and different ways to knot the fairy hair and we have found that this absolutely works the best way for longevity so i would say this is the tried and true way definitely sometimes when i've been drinking i lose count and do like three knots with her hair and fairy <laughs> hair i think those stay in the longest <laughs> one extra knot in there by all means <laughs> um, but you can see this is like we just add more in almost whenever we're together <laughs> so we just travel with the fairy hair whoever comes to whoever's house and then we just um, keep adding more in so definitely lots and all the way around the back some people only do it on the sides um, we certainly embrace the entire head <laughs> and then we like fairy hair. for a while Jen was wearing like the sides of her hair back so I took a chunk of hair, chunk of hair. I took a large grouping of hair that she would normally pull back and I did a bunch of fairy hair a lot lower than what we would normally do. And that way she could have some that was peeking through while her hair was pulled back. So it looks like those have all since fallen out. No, I was only pulling up like this oh. part. So they're all under there. Never mind. Well, maybe, mm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're not. one or two. Okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's been a while. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's a crash course in how to do fairy hair. A fairy hair 101. <laughs> With Tippy Cow. Yes, Tippy Cow. 